Welcome to the Canadian Scrapbooker Magazine web show. My name is Jackie. Today, Kelly is going to be creating some really fun embellishments that you're going to want to use on your next project. Stay tuned. I am absolutely loving all of these funky embellishments that you have put here on your layout, Kelly. And I'm just going to let you go right at it and show everybody at home how you created them. All right. The first thing I'm going to do is tell you about the, these papers. Oh, and they, they are from a company called Fab Scraps. And I really like this collection. It's Wild at Heart. And it speaks to the, the kind of the teens in the scrapbooking right. world. And I have teenage children, so I love to scrapbook with it. It matches the hat on your daughter's, uh, in the picture of your daughter beautifully. I thought it yeah. matched really well. Good job. And they have some fun tags as well. And I'll be using, I used one of those in my layout too. Cool. So um, Fab Scraps also has fantastic chipboard. And they, I altered these chipboard using clear snap embossing powder and embossing ink. So I'm going to show you how to do that here. Okay, I'll move this aside and give you some more room. Now some people think of gears as kind of a male embellishment, but I'm going to show you how you can girlify it. Or if well, that's I think a women word. can give you the gears too, if that's a saying. Is that a saying? I don't know. It's my saying now. I think so. So you're using the mixed media ink from Donna Salsar. That one's really gooey, isn't it? Yes. It's a nice it's, gooey ink. It's a beautiful embossing ink. Okay. And it, um, this one's called Pewter. Okay. So I'll put that on the gear and then I'll put on my embossing powder. And I'm pretty liberal with the embossing powder. And that's kinda... also from Clear Snap? That... Oh, yes, look at that it's again, it's the Donna Salazar. Okay, there you go. And I'll just take my tweezers. Those are, those are Westcott Tease tweezers. They're really fine tipped. I like I them. I love them. Yeah. And I'll heat that up. I'm going to add a few layers of the embossing ink and powder um, and build up the layers. And then I'm going to show you how to stamp inside that. So you so, need to re-ink it? Is that yes. is that the deal? If it's hot enough, you can pick up more powder. And if I don't, not, you, know, we you weren't will re-ink. We weren't quite fast enough, hey? So normally if you're really fast, but this is a good example of if you're not fast enough, how easy it is just to do it again. So there's no mistakes with this technique, I think. Is that fair to say? Yes. Now I'm going to get my, if you want to get my magenta stamp ready. It's all ready. You have to do this when it's hot, don't you? Yes, and when it's hot, get it really when hot, it's hot, we put it on and just hold it there. Okay. Uh, and now. Now, just anyway? Yeah. Okay. And just sweep, push. Yeah, push, and wait a little bit. And you can lift it off. And it's important, I want to mention, that, Ooh, look at that you do want to use a rubber stamp. A cling stamp, a clear stamp is not really going to work with this. It could be melted by oh, the embossing. Oh, right, right. Yeah. So what I can do now is you can see the stamp didn't, it covered part of it. Right. I kind of like that. But I can also reheat this side and you can put the stamp in it again. Okay. And this time I'll be a little bit more aggressive. Do you think I wasn't pushing hard no, enough? No, I think it looks perfect. Looks good. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just go right in there like that. Yeah, and just hold it firmly, let it cool for a few seconds, and then lift it up. D this doesn't wreck the stamp though, right? No, it doesn't. But once again, it's a rubber stamp. Right. The magenta is an excellent quality stamp. Oh yeah, look at you really got that. So now nice you've got different deep. layers and different grooves. Cool. And I like that there it's flowers. I intentionally chose a floral stamp to get that really fun, perfect, girly effect. I love it. Thanks. Next embellishment, you're going to create the heart that you see here. Yeah, I'll show you how to do how to make this heart. I just freehand cut a heart out of chipboard, sure. and I use some coordinations cardstock. So this cardstock is awesome. It has a color core that's different, and it I'll makes show you. sanding and that boom when you sand it, the inside pop out. Exactly. 
Here's kind of a finished heart. I use different colors. And basically, very simply, to create this effect, you take two colors, you can even take three, and you just tear off strips. And you want that core edge to show um, that's a different color. Oh, I see. See, yeah. like that. Right. And then I, I kind of ripped a whole oh, bunch of really strips. Oh, you can really see it really well on that, that one. Yeah. yeah. And I'm taking my scrapbook adhesives by 3L tape runner. I will cover this with my adhesive, my tape oh, runner. You know what? And I would have done it probably the tedious way where I would have taped each individual um, strip and this is way more efficient, so thank you. Yeah. Okay, so I have my strips and I'm just going to start layering them and you can make them shorter and longer so you can, and tie, alternating. A tie-dye heart in seconds here. Yes. And if, if you do find you're overlapping a lot, you actually will have to add more tape to the back, but I kind of tried not to. So that's kind of, that's basically the effect right. that and then you you're just, going for. Then you just go at the end and trim it off? And at the end, yeah, you just take it and you flip it over. I have my Westcott scissors here, they're non-stick. And they're titanium. Oh yeah, so it These are the new large handled ones. I see that. Yeah, they're fantastic. And that, so that an adhesive that you're cutting off the edge isn't going to stick to the, to the blade. No. Perfect. So you end up with the covered heart and then you take your sanding block, you sand in the direction of the oh, tears. Oh yeah, so you, you don't, don't want to go like up. this. Yeah. That's you. You don't want to lift them lift up. Lift it all up. And you basically get this really fun, distressed heart. Perfect. You dust it off with your See, that looks way more buddy. complicated than that. Yeah, and that's it. That's it. That's all you have to do it. It's fun. I made them in different sizes. And you have a fun tie-dye kind of cardstock heart. Kelly created this layout using some fabulous products from Fab Scraps, the pattern paper, and that chipboard that you see is all from this great company. The ribbon is from May Arts Ribbon. The cardstock that you see on the heart embellishments is from Coordinations Color Core cardstock. Kelly also used the Dust Buddy and Sanding Block. All of the ink is from Clear Snap and embossing powder. The stamp that she used is from Magenta. And all of this layout, once again, came together using Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L, Tape Runner, and 3D Foam Squares. I should also mention that the little envelope that you see is also an embellishment from Fab Scraps. Fun embellishments, nice and fast and easy. Awesome. Thank you so much, Kelly. We'll be seeing you again, I'm sure, on a show in the future. I hope so. Yes, thanks for having me. Until next time, take care and happy scrapbooking.